Welcome back. Before the break, we learned just how serious a bump on the head can be. Now, the good news about concussions is symptoms are usually temporary. But as my next guest knows all too well, if you experience multiple concussions, especially in a short period of time, the results can be devastating. There's more bruising to your brain every time, and you get a concussion that much easier. Two weeks before my accident, I had a severe concussion at another rodeo. A lot of you may be familiar with Curtis's story. In June of 2002, he suffered two severe blows to the head while bull riding at the Pinocchio Stampede. After spending three weeks in a drug-induced coma, Curtis had to relearn how to do everything, including how to walk. When I was in the hospital, I, they said I was going to be able to play hockey again. And I might not be able to play flat out hockey, but I'll be able to go out and play shinny with my nephews or whoever there is and just and I was going through some pictures and six months after my accident I was back on skates I had a chair in front of me and dad skated beside me and then I went skated I've been skating every winter since my accident my balance is getting stronger and stronger so it's it's coming along it was well, it was a whole new experience because you had to learn it over again and try figure out your balance on skates. It's really, really exciting to think that there is no cap on your recovery. I mean, certainly you may reach a peak and every individual who is recovering from an injury is going to reach that peak. But it's not like, um, recovering from a brain injury isn't like recovering from a broken limb. A broken limb, your doctor's gonna say to you six to eight weeks or it, whatever, it'll be fixed and you'll be good as new, good to go. Well, a doctor can't give you that answer with a brain injury, but neither can that doctor say to you, well, if you're not better, by X amount of time, you're not gonna get better. And Curtis Anderson is living proof of just that. Not only has he beaten the odds and is back on the ice, but he hopes others can learn from his experiences. It doesn't matter how good of a skater you are, you're gonna have a fall once in a while and it's best to have a helmet to protect you when you do. It doesn't matter if you're skating out on the pond or just for playing shinny, just to wear a helmet at all times, because. That's the best way to prevent a concussion. Most people who wear helmets, whether they're riding a bike or skating, uh, they, they are prevented from, even though they have the injury, they really don't suffer concussions. There is no cure, so the only prevention is to be as smart as you can, right? And recognizing the signs of concussion. Uh, a lot of kids, you know, get a concussion, shake it off, jump up, get back on the field, and then cause twice as bad of an injury, which is really the scary, scary thing about concussions. Winning that game or that series or that cup, is it really that important when it comes to your kid's health? because it can escalate and escalate into major damage later. We're seeing a lot of sports stars who are committing suicide and only because of the trauma caused to their head from you know what they were getting paid to do. That's pretty scary. All those millions that their families have mean nothing when they don't have them any longer, right? You hope they take the time to heal before they go back and there's one day where they aren't in the NHL no more because they're sitting at home watching on TV. And it's not just hockey. Severe head trauma can result from snowmobile accidents, slipping on icy sidewalks, and even tobogganing. Any fall off like a bike or a skateboard, just any anywhere where your head is going to have impact on something, it's gonna it's gonna hurt you. And to keep going to back too soon from a concussion, there will be one day when you don't go back. So the best is to take as much time as you can then go back and be as strong as you were before. Go out and have fun, but make sure you wear your helmet to protect you while you're out there. Prevention, prevention, prevention. I can't stress, wear helmets, uh, wear uh, something to protect your arms and your legs as well, to prevent body injuries, and be, don't be, use common sense. You know, we really truly do not want to see somebody end up with a secondary injury that is worse than their first injury because they didn't take the time or didn't feel like they were worth it. Everybody's worth it. There's a community and a support system out there for everyone. So make sure and find it. You're not alone when you have a brain injury. It may be completely unique to you because every injury is unique, but there are people out there who still get what you're going through. So by all means, find some support for it. I can do that again. 
I've known Curtis for almost a year now and it's remarkable and blows my mind every time I see him just how much progress he's making. Now even if you don't live in the Lloydminster area, you can still find a lot of helpful and useful links on the Labus website on the bottom of your screen. And when ATR comes back after this quick break, we're heading up north where it may be even colder outside to hear an incredible story of second chances.